So my first teaching job was up in a northern mining town, and I was very young. I was I was 25 or 26, but I looked about 16. I was the second smallest person in the school, and I thought I was going up to teach English and social studies, but when I got there, they gave me everything that they needed, right? So I was teaching things like math, which I'm really bad at. And uh, one day, it, so it's a small town, it's very isolated, and there's a lot of stress going on because nobody knew if the mine was going to shut or not, and that was what the entire life split of the town was. And uh, so it was very stressful, and went, and you know, there were lots of things going on. And one day, the kids were just <laughs> awful. They were just at their worst, and I was just like, okay, that's it, you know, you guys have got to get focus, get on with it, because this is ridiculous. Anyway, um, the, uh, one of the girls says, what's wrong with you, Miss Menu? Are you on the rag or something? You're making such a bitch. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that's it, detention, detention, detention. And I never get detentions, right? So after school, I've got all these kids in detention, which I just felt sick about, but I'm marking and I'm pretending to mark, but really I'm crying and thinking, what made me think I could do this? Like, this is crazy. And I can't quit because there's nobody to cover and nobody to look after these guys if I'm gone. But I just felt like I'd, like I'd really made a big mistake. And so, you know, I go down after the detention, I go down to the staff room and I'm getting ready. And, I hear a knock on the door and two young ladies, you know, this is in the early 90s, you know, hair out to here, makeup, leather coats, and like, hey, Miss Menu, we heard that you were crying, we just wanted to tell you, we were the bitches, not you. And I said, thanks, I really appreciate that. And so I went back the next day and never had another moment of trouble with any of them.